It must be in this tree. This is another episode like the other week. I think it's it's got to be. You me you remember last weekend? Same scenario. We kept looking down and we couldn't see the squirrel. Where the hell is it, Peppy? That tree's not that big. I think that we would see a squirrel. That's what happened last weekend though. It wasn't a big it wasn't a big tree, remember? Yeah. And she snatched it off the side of it. Well, she sees something. Now, is there this tree hollow right here? It's got a hole in the face. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> well, let me let me try the fish tape to see. I mean, she stooped down when she yeah. first started flying. She was stooping down and then pulled up. Right. I think I hit something and it went again. Get away. Good girl, Pat. All right. Well, you old Mark, I thank you for that one, Peppy. <laughs> I noticed the hole. Good girl. I can see his little brain trying to work on. He jumped at that tree. And I'm chasing him, you know, and he's going, well, I need to run up the tree to get away from that, but there's no birds up there, I can't go up. <laughs> Let me come back on the ground. All right, Pep. Well, what are you going to do about that? You got all them leaves in it. Number 28. I believe you're right. Just stay there for just a moment, Peppy. <laughs> <laughs> the end of our break. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll move when she, when she moves. Yeah, uh, well, that that's, didn't take long, did that's it? what I meant when she roused it. I knew that was the end of our break. <laughs> that's a reset. It's like a computer reset. 
Reboot. <laughs> Reboot. <laughs> Bring back up the operation level. All right. All right. <laughs>